Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report, and we are here at the 21st Annual Art Directors Guild Awards. Nice to meet you. Congratulations on a Thank Lifetime Achievement Award. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm really pleased. <laughs> you know, working in the industry all these years, so many changes, technology coming in uh, and, and changing the face of the job. What has that been like working through the decades? Well, it's, it's, it's been a, a real, like a roller coaster ride, up and down. Well, I started my first, let me just say this. My first job was working on matinee theater, the black and white soap opera. You know, Ow. and the, the sets were, you know, limbo sets, painted in black and white and grays. That was fun. But now, you know, and you see where it's evolved to. It's really great. I've, I've enjoyed it. 42 years of it, and it's been fun. That's incredible. When technology started to come into play in your job, how were you guys adapting in those moments? Well, to color, we adapted great, yes. you know, because I think it was Disney's White World of Color. That was the first one that came in and opened up the doors for all of color. And I working for NBC, because that was the place where color started. You know, and then, excuse me, I'm a little nervous. No, you're doing great. <laughs> Well, anyway, that's where it all started, and I want to say this. When I first started on TV, uh, let me see, what was I going to say? When you first started in TV, we were talking about color, black and white. Yeah, well, it was different. It was like Eddie Fisher, he used to do a 15-minute segment of songs every day that was broadcast. There was no commercials, which was nice. You know, no commercials, and I'd, I'd run home from school. We'd have these little, uh, my father bought a big TV with a little screen. And I'd watch these Western movies hosted by Doy O'Dell. I don't know if you ever heard of him. He was a cowboy star in those days. And I was just a 12-year-old kid, and I loved it. I'd get in there. And what I would do is I'd get a blanket, throw it over the TV, and me. Because in those days, the room had to be just about black before you could see a picture. Anyway, and it was amazing. Fun. Yes. So amazing. What um, production are you most proud of that you've worked on? Well, let's see, that I'm most proud of? I guess The Tonight Show. I did a lot of stuff that just directly with the, connected with The Tonight Show. Like I would do backings personally, just myself, which was, rest of the time, most of the time I was kind of a, in a leadership position where I would dole out the work. And, uh, you know, I missed being on the floor and doing all the, all the work, but it was interesting too, working with, like I had a conversation with Elvis one time. And it was very interesting. And one thing I got, I realized he was more excited about talking to an average guy than I was talking to him. And I was excited talking to him. But he just come up and all of a sudden he loosened up. And, you know, and I seen him around the studios. And it's always like a bunch of, you know, his friends around. And he's completely different. He's, he's performing. But then with, with an individual such as myself, he just talked, just talk, had hands in his pocket, and we're just... Just a regular just, guy. Just a regular guy. That's and so really awesome. Enjoyed. You must have so many great stories throughout your career. Congratulations on such a wonderful honor. Thank you very much. Thank you for the nice interview. Of Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know what movie had the coolest looking set this year.